One thing about my mom is that she will freak out if I told her about AI. A good old menti B, if you will. Like, how is it a thing that there is an AI system out there that can allegedly read your thoughts? The idea of machines being intelligent, self-sufficient, and autonomous gives her the heebie-jeebies. And you know what? I totally get it. Because it's kind of creepy to think that a computer imitating human behavior can fully engage in casual conversation. That's why today I'm going to break down the process in which these machines learn so that she can feel a little more at ease with the present and future technological advantages. Or she can play this while she cries in the corner. Who's to say? As long as you give me that sweet, sweet watch time. Love you, mom. Let's first have a conversation about artificial intelligence. What is it exactly? We all have a general, maybe somewhat fictional idea of AI thanks to pop culture depictions like the Terminator and a space odyssey. However, the Oxford Dictionary defines it as the theory and development of computer systems able to perform tasks that normally require human intelligence. Kinda cool, kinda freaky, kinda slay. Simply put, AIs are machines simulating human intelligence and other capacities like seeing or moving. There are several subsets of AI, like natural language processing, computer vision, expert systems, autonomous systems, and so on. Now, you may have never heard about any of these, but there's one subset that you might have heard even if you're not in the data science world, and that's machine learning. Machine learning is the thing. Here's what you need to know. In simple terms, machine learning is a way to teach computers how to learn from data and make decisions or predictions without being explicitly programmed for each task. Instead of following specific instructions, a machine learning system uses patterns and information from examples to improve its performance over time. Using traditional programming, a programmer will manually tell a machine how to respond to different sets of instructions by coding each decision explicitly. In contrast with machine learning models, computer scientists can train a machine by providing with substantial amounts of data. The machine adheres to a set of rules, an algorithm, to analyze the data and draw inferences. The machine's proficiency at a task or decision making improves as it processes more data. Imagine you're teaching a computer how to recognize water bottles in pictures. Instead of giving it a set of rules like look for a cap or check for a straw, you would show it many pictures of water bottles and let it figure out the crucial features on its own. The computer learns by identifying patterns in the data and when it sees new pictures, it can use what it learned to recognize if there's a water bottle in them. In essence, machine learning is about creating algorithms and models that can learn and generalize from data that are provided for them, making them capable of handling tasks, making predictions or decisions, or providing insights without being explicitly programmed for each specific scenario. Now, we need to get into the nitty gritty of machine learning because much like AI, Machine learning also has its own subsets. There are three main types, supervised learning, unsupervised learning, and reinforcement learning. Apart from these primary types, there are variations or combinations like semi-supervised learning, self-supervised learning, and transfer learning. But there's more complex subfields within machine learning. I know you've probably heard of its name, deep learning, which at the same time can also use supervised unsupervised and reinforcement learning. In fact, most reinforcement models are actually deep learning models. I know this might sound a little confusing, but to simplify things, basically artificial intelligence serves as the comprehensive framework encompassing various components. Within AI, machine learning functions as a subset and deep learning in turn operates as a specialized domain within machine learning with neural networks which make up the fundamental structures of deep learning algorithms. Neural networks, also known as artificial neural networks, ANNs, or simulated neural networks, SNNs, comprise of a subset of machine learning and serve as the foundation for deep learning algorithms. Their name, neural, reflects their imitation of how neurons in the brain communicate. These networks consist of layers of nodes, including an input layer, one or more hidden layers, and an output layer. Each node acts like an artificial neuron, connecting to the next node and carries a weight and threshold value. 
The activation takes place when a node output is transformed by an activation function, allowing it to send data to the next layer. However, if the node's output is not transformed, data can still pass along, as long as it meets the conditions set by the weights and thresholds of the connections. Now the deep in deep learning refers to the depth of layers in a neural network. So the crucial factor distinguishing a single neural network from a deep learning algorithm lies in the depth or the number of node layers. Specifically, a deep learning algorithm must have more than three layers. Now let's break it down. First, we'll have to train the computer system. So let's imagine for a second that my mom is looking for a dog so she doesn't feel so lonely when I'm here recording these videos. There's a vast amount of different dog breeds, so let's help her find the right one. Let's say you have a vast collection of pictures of dog breeds, golden retrievers, German shepherds, poodles, you name it. Each picture is labeled with its respective breed. You would then feed those dog breeds into the neural network. Initially, it's like showing a toddler pictures of animals and telling them what each one is. The neural network adjusts its connections between nodes to understand the features that distinguish each dog breed. Then the magic happens through iterations. The neural network makes predictions and then you tell it whether it's right or wrong. If it mistakes a beagle for a bulldog, it adjusts the connections to get it right next time. This process repeats with thousands of pictures until the neural network becomes really good at recognizing breeds. Now, after enough time, the network is gonna be capable of recognizing not only dog breeds, but also different features if it's trained for it. So, when my mom asks for a dog that's small, gentle, easy to train, and friendly, the neural network will analyze the data in its nodes and will identify and recognize what the best match for her is, which is probably a Shih Tzu. Ultimately, deep learning is like training a virtual brain to understand and recognize patterns. It's a bit like teaching a computer to be a dog breed expert, all through the power of lots of pictures and some clever algorithms. Both machine learning and deep learning methodologies prove instrumental in discerning patterns within data sets. The training of algorithms integral to these frameworks hinges upon using data sets, where complex mathematical models form the foundation. The algorithms systematically discern correlations between established outputs and inputs throughout the training phase. The models can then demonstrate an inherent capacity to autonomously generate or predict outputs based on unknown inputs. This starkly contrasts conventional programming paradigms, as the learning process here is constitutionally automated, needing minimal human intervention. So. I hope this video helped you understand AI a little bit better and showed you how exciting and intricate it can be. You got that, mom? It's important that we see the value of technological advancement and keep evolving it. Otherwise, we'll be left behind. So if you like this video, make sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe for more content on tech, data, education, productivity, and more. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.